Welcome back to Feel a Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on SABC3. And it's movie time with our guru, JP Sebastian. He's going to give you the lowdown on some more movies. And you know what I love about this session we've been having is the fact that you've been taking on these foreign language films that often would be thrown to the wayside because, oh, my word, Tenet's coming out. Wonder Woman 1984. And those you... are cool. That's yes. fine. We have lots of fun getting excited about those. But, man, these just get lost in the algorithm. Um, uh, indeed. So, uh, I'm cheating a bit here. These aren't the freshest trailers necessarily. Doesn't They're matter. from last month. But I've got a list of, like, 50 movies that I have to throw by the wayside from last year because pff, we have to move on with the new year. <laughs> well, New Year and mm. New Order, which uh -huh. is the first one. Now, I, I checked this trailer out last night, and when I saw it, I, I had a a little image of what the coronavirus pandemic could be. Uh -huh. That's the type of chaos that I saw <laughs> in the trailer. Uh, a bit more about New Order, because it and, starts and with a wedding. And the Capitol Hill thing as well recently. <laughs> that was, it is crazy. So <clears throat> I, I look at it, I look at that wedding, it looks all beautiful, that's how it starts, and then suddenly a couple of people jump over the wall and, you know, things hit the fan. Which so I'm what's this sure about? The uh, viewers about to see any minute now. So like you said, we've got this affluent family, and it's set in Mexico City, so interesting, the movie makes no bones about having this actual, like, race racial divide, you've got this uh, rich, uh, generally white family, and the uh, house is, there's a break-in and entry from people who look like they're the downtrodden, the oppressed, the walked over, uh, the, the destitute, and like you said, stuff goes down. Yes. Uh, Mexico looks like it's in the middle of an uh, insurrection, uh, obviously not the same as the one we just saw in capital, uh, in the capital of Washington DC, which is, those weren't good people. <laughs> These, however, are really, really desperately oppressed people, the poor. Uh, in a country that's got a, probably a Gini coefficient, the mark of inequality, that's probably as bad as South Africa's. Yes, our inequality is terrible. So who knows any day when there'll be this kind of like uprising. Uh, and so it looks very similar to if you've seen the movie Parasite, which I'd implore you to. And then once you've I seen like it, to. watch it again. Yes. Uh, it was the Oscar winner last year. And it looks kind of like Parasite was like, yes, I want to do a, a microcosm of capitalism in one house. And your order was like, hold my tequila, whole of Mexico City. <laughs> uh, but aside from like, this uprising of the people yes. who have been downtrodden for the longest time. You have this new order being implemented of a stronger form of fascism to replace the old system, to keep the down under squashed down. Uh, so hey, good, valuable questions. Like I said, especially in countries with major inequality and a planet with terrible inequality. Hey, we've had so many more billionaires in 2020. I'm so happy. Um, new order is a worthwhile conversation to have about these kind of things. And hey, well, it might just be warm-blooded fun as well, like stuff like Children of Men, which is deeply thoughtful, as well as Roller Coaster. There's no date for it in SA just yet, but might be a good uh, one to grab people the way Parasite did. Uh, the, uh, w the other trailer that grabbed me is the trailer Mayor. Now, mm -hmm. it's a different type of chaos because you can only imagine being a, a mayor of Ramallah in, in Palestine. It must be quite an interesting job, but now you get a view into that with Mayor. Yeah. So the previous segment that we just did was everything in the mind, and now I'm trying to theme you for cities here. Yes. And cities as actually our, our uh, memories in a way. They, they were uh, repositories of, of our politics, of our memory. I'm being too airy-fairy, but so let's just get down to the nuts and bolts. Uh, Musa Hadid is the man you look in there who, like you said, is the mayor of from Allah in uh, Palestine in the occupied militarily and settler West Bank. And it starts with him, <laughs> she says, you're playing like Messi. And then misses the ball yes, completely. I saw that was the best thing. <laughs> it's, it looks totally hilarious. And, and it has almost like the feeling of anything that we've been enjoying, like Veep or even yeah. Parks and Recreation, of someone just trying to go down to the ground and solve a water pipe burst or a pothole. But because it's Palestine, uh, he's a mayor who's working in between potholes and apartheid. And uh, it goes from being hilarious to very, very quickly heartbreaking about uh, an entire place that's under siege by uh, uh, Israel. And uh, I mean, this is a country that killed 27 Palestinians last year in protests and uh, just last week killed Harun Abu Iram. Uh, well, didn't kill him, but shot him in the neck and made him a quadriplegic. So Maya uh, seems like it's also fortunately, like I said, some new order having no bones about, let's talk about the facts. Uh, let's talk about the, the oppressions in the world, and this is a documentary, however, it's not a fiction. Uh, it's a shame, this poor guy looks like he's just trying to hold the ship together, but not just under the pressures of yeah. like a populace who's like, hey, can I knock down this wall to extend my bedroom? But also the larger imperial forces from above as well. Mayor might be a contender at the Oscars for documentary.
I can feel that from the movie. I love it. the fact that the emotions are settled in the same place. A bit of comedy, but then a bit of that seriousness that Palestine has to face, which is actually which quite is beautiful. So, so important. Like, the thing is, when oppression emerges, it's never going to have the violence back in it in real life. Like, you're never going to be prepared. And, like, yeah. no one goes, oh, the genre you're in right now, Carl, is that you're being oppressed? <laughs> like, life will blindside you when, at the same time you're laughing, it will reveal itself to be pretty horrible and harsh at times too, and Mayo is maybe a good use of that kind of blending. So world tour for you, because we've gone to Mexico, we've gone to Palestine, let's go to France. Gagarin. Yes, uh, and I think a better response from last year, they're offering for Oscar consideration, not that this one is, uh, I'd have to double check. I, no, I don't think it is the one that they put enough for consideration, but ugh, Les Mis last year wasn't as good as it should have been. A lot of French movies, and especially about the impoverished, again, we're talking about here, uh, are living in a long shadow of a movie called La Haine, which is a masterpiece and which you should try and see. Okay. Uh, Gagarin uh, hopefully looks like a, it's a good a younger answer to that. And Yuri is this character you're looking at here. It's a young man who takes upon himself the, the, the charge of rescuing a block of flats, uh, a, a town basically, the projects, so, uh, where uh, the city is like a lot of cities in the world, you know, it doesn't necessarily be, need to be military occupation, is being gentrified so that yes. the poor are being moved out so that the rich can have, I don't know, fancy apartments and stuff like that. And so him and his young friends go into this apartment, fix it up, and they take on this really superhero job of being occupiers of, uh, you know, space that should just be for affordable housing. All that aside, though, it looks really beautiful and dreamlike, these sequences. Uh, and, and hey, who doesn't love an underdog story, especially since we're looking at overlooked trailers. Gagarin, no date for it in SA just yet, but totally pertinent, especially in a country like ours, where we have missions of people like this trying to keep land affordable and housing affordable. Maybe Gagarin will pull at the heartstrings and help you with that word we were talking about earlier, empathy. Seeing the humanity in others and that they deserve to live to. And I see that trend coming through for you, JP. And thank you so much for offering all of the insight into those movies. Make sure you check those ones out. And that includes the likes of uh, New Order, the Gagarin is in there, as well as Mayo. So go check them out when they do arrive in South Africa. Massive thanks to JP once again. Stick with us right here on Expresso.